hearty welcome to all of you in this video we are having an expert talk on a very interesting concept of circuits that is electronic circuits which is referred as boot strap time based generation generator without wasting the time let us move into the explanation the circuit actually works so this is the construction of bootstrap time based generator circuit so in which it consists of two transistors q1 and q2 in which among which the q1 transistor circuit work as a switch and q2 transistor work as a high gain amplifier the input for this circuit is maybe a pulse waveform or it might be a rectangular waveform so this is how this circuit gets constructed and how this circuit actually works let's discuss about it so when the input signal vi is positive when this input signal vi is positive then the transistor q1 becomes on and it goes into saturation when this transistor is on and goes into saturation we can find a, the collector potential at point a as vc is sat so this vc is at for a silicon transistor it is approximately 0.3 volts and this is 0.3 volts is connected here so and this is the output voltage v not will be va minus vbeq2 means transistor q2 vbeq2 that gives you 0.3 minus 0.6 that equals to minus 0.3 so when the input signal is positive we find a negative value here at the output which is a minus 0.3 volts so what happens as we find a feedback signal from this output v not back to the collector of q1 transistor through a capacitor cb here also at potential the at point b the potential we can find is the same as here so it also goes negative when this potential is negative what happens to the diode this diode is having a is a driven driven by vcc source and this diode rapidly conducts this diode rapidly conducts and with the result we can find the potential at b equals to vcc directly from this circuit so when vi is positive we find the output signal as 0. minus 0.3 volts if it is made of a silicon material what happens when this circuit takes a negative input signal see when the input signal is negative this transistor particular q1 transistor turns off when this one turns off we find a maximum potential at point a so the potential at point a previously was a vc is at now it goes on rising this potential at point a rises this voltage is transmitted to point b through transistor q2 and through the capacitance cb so this potential cb also rises to the same amount previously the voltage at this potential was a vcc now as va is getting is increasing now we find an increase in the potential of vb vb also in terms of va so vb becomes vcc plus va when this becomes a potentially vcc plus va let us say the current flowing through this circuit as this q1 is off q1 transistor is off means we find a open circuit here and this current i directly flows to i1 so we find ic current of this q1 transistor as zero as this is in off condition so this i current the current i can be found by taking so vb minus va by rc1 whereas this vb minus va equals to vcc as we already identified vb equal to vcc plus va substituting that here we find it becomes vcc by rc1 as you see in the circuit this vcc is actually a fixed value as well as the resistor also becomes a fixed value when these two terms are of a fixed value then the ratio of these two fixed terms it definitely be a fixed value so the current i equal to vcc by rc1 is also a constant from this circuit i equals to i1 as this collector current is zero the same current i e flows in this way like i1 and but i1 is divided into 
i1 is divided into i sorry this i1 equals to i2 plus i3 <coughs> what when <coughs> where i3 is the base current of q2 since q2 is an emitter follower circuit emitter follower character circuit characteristics one of the important characteristics is it will have a higher input impedance when the particular transistor when this particular amplifier is having higher input impedance it never allows current to flow through it so practically we can say this emitter the base current i3 which is flowing through the base of a emitter follower circuit it will be zero so practically this i3 value becomes zero then what happens i1 equals to i2 but what is the relation between i1 equals to already i so i2 equals to i so when this constant current is flowing through the capacitor cs here a ramp signal or a ramp voltage gets developed as we are discussing about this uh, second stage of uh, uh, transistor is a uh, emitter follower emitter follower voltage gain is actually approximately unity means whatever the input signal it has to be followed at the output so v naught should be approximately equal to va with that relation whatever the ramp voltage gets developed at the input side of this capacitor the same ramp voltage will be appearing at the output of this circuit v naught and this is how this bootstrap time based generator circuit works so these are the output waveforms how we to describe the operation what we have discussed uh, till now so when the input signal is negative when the input signal is vi is positive the output will be a minus 0.3 volts or slightly negative value and when the input signal goes to negative direction the potential of this gets increases slightly this time where it generates a linear signal this is called sweep time and when this is signal after the pulse width of tp when this input signal again goes back to positive value then it again goes to negative which is a zero point minimum value called minus 0.3 volts where tp is a pulse width and ts is called sweep time which is less than or equal to the pulse approximately tr is the rise time and the time constant ts equals to rc1 into cs so this is about bootstrap time based generator circuit working and its explanation so thank you for listening to me Thank you.